Hello and welcome to this very basic first grader level. I don't know why you'd click on this tutorial when there's a million tutorials on this website. Basic bitch beginner tutorial. Yes. Um, so as you can see, my hair has turned this really sad shade of like greenish blonde. Yeah, we got to get rid of that. But being as we're in quarantine, nobody can go to their hairstylist or any of that. And we're just kind of sitting here with these very raggedy colors. And that's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's still just a matter of self-confidence to be able to see yourself looking the way that you'd prefer. So for me, I wanted to go ahead and change my color. So I started looking online and I actually found out about color washes. I never heard of these before apparently they are color depositing conditioners I actually asked my stylist who usually colors my hair about them and she said they were fine so here we go the first thing you're gonna want to do is change your shirt so that you do not damage your adorable Kiki's delivery service shirt and look at this great editing BAM wow amazing how did that happen then you're gonna want to get rid of your you know shy guy and your ba bomb not let them get damaged as well as the shine sprite up there cover the whole chair with a towel so Pac-Man and friends are good contemplate what you're gonna do and then grab your scrunchies which I forget to use your hairbrush your color of course and I mean obviously your hands like let's not be stupid you need hands and, and just take a quick sip of coffee oh my god it's so freaking good D hold up hold up right so here's the silver color it almost looks black actually um, I started applying it and of course it, it comes out a more gray silver color and immediately I'm like this is going to freaking work I'm gonna have silver gray hair it's gonna be so pretty the green is completely gone the this color also is really um what's the word sudsy i guess it, it's conditioner you're supposed to actually use this in the shower but i knew i wanted to do multiple colors on my hair so i wasn't gonna get in the shower and try to make that happen i'm like i'll just let it sit in my hair for a while and we'll do it outside of the shower so yeah but you can do this inside of the shower yeah i'm just gonna saturate it all over and you're gonna be really careful about making sure you get it up to the roots as well but yeah i put the pink on the two sides i just wanted to have like the underneath color right in the front to look pink as if I had like that peekaboo, you know, undertone of pink. The lavender purple is going to go on the bottom half. And then I was going to do gray silver on top with pink highlights in the front. Basically, you just want to completely saturate your hair with this stuff. Just get it everywhere. And like I said earlier, I had scrunchies that I never freaking used. I pulled them out and just completely forgot to section off my hair. But you 100% want to section your hair when you do this. Um, and as you can see, I'm grabbing the pink part. It's falling into the silver. I'm messing it up. And I'm like, okay, you know what? The cameras. Dead ass. Dead ass. So I go finish it in the mirror because it was not working very well trying to do it in from the camera. But just follow those steps of fully saturating your hair and let it sit, like I said, for about 10 minutes. Great time to play some video games. Maybe speedrun Super Mario Sunshine. Follow me at twitch.tv slash senpai. And uh, then we washed it all out. And it's still looking green, bitch. It's still looking green, bitch. I, I was not feeling this at all. Yeah, not at all. I went ahead and just put the purple lavender color all over, except for, of course, I kept the pink um, in the front, the little pink peekaboo highlights, and then lavender purple everywhere, washed it out, and it really did look lavender purple all over. I loved this color, even before I dried it off. You can't really tell because of the blue color that my, you know, my monitor is putting into my hair here, but ignore that. I promise it looks so purple and just really pretty. I went ahead and did something stupid. I wanted to do a honey treatment on my hair, but I wound up having to wash the honey out with some shampoo and it changed the color purple to a really pretty light blue and as pretty as that light blue is I did not want light blue hair I wanted purple so I figure I'm gonna have to do this all over again so here we are <laughs> three days later as you can see it's faded quite a bit because I washed it probably like four times in between the you know this video and the last one and at this point my overtone actually showed up I only used the viral color wash first because I figured the overtone would not get here in time based on the back orders that they had or whatever but it showed up so I said hey let me go ahead and do a comparison of the overtone to the viral color wash as you can see the overtone is a really pretty purple smells kind of weird kind of minty it wasn't a bad smell it's just weird so yeah here's the comparison I'm putting overtone on this side and I'm putting color wash on the other side they honestly look exactly the same even though you can't tell that much I did it again with my bangs because it was harder to see the two comparisons in the back 
This one is the viral. This one is overtone on the right. And honestly, tell me they don't look exactly the same. So I'm gonna put the viral pink in the front so I can have that peekaboo pink highlights like I said I wanted. And then go ahead and put the overtone purple all over, the lavender. I'm being really careful to thoroughly put it everywhere, making sure it gets all over the roots, especially since that part for some reason takes the color the least amount it felt like. But it definitely saturated it well enough, so don't worry. As long as you get it everywhere, you'll be fine. And I'm kind of squishing it through. You see, I'm like flattening out my hair and shimming it to the left and right. That's the only way I can really think to describe that motion is like a shimmy with your fingers. Just make sure you do that all over it. Like once you saturate it, then you want to really shimmy it down. I cannot explain what I mean by shimmy, but please understand me. Okay. And then wishing it in around the roots and really letting it saturate it in putting extra on top of it. Once it feels like it's completely covered, I put a little bit more. Did the same thing with the purple all over my head, put it in and then mushed it, did the shimmy and then saturated it with extra. And again, I waited for probably like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe more, then got in the shower and just washed it all out. And as you can see, it came out pretty good. The purple is a lot. I think this purple actually is a more purpley purple as much sense as that doesn't make than the viral. So in my opinion, go for the overtone if you can stand to wait. And I looked everywhere to try to find out if you have to wash out these colors with shampoo or if you can just rinse them. Everything says rinse, but to me, my hair still felt kind of sticky. So I did a super fast, like five seconds ran shampoo through my hair and then barely scrubbed it at all. Just let it rush over it and then rinsed it out and it was good to go. It felt great. So here is the finished look. It's so much better than I could have imagined, especially starting with that disgusting green color. I cannot stress to you how gross that green color was to me but now I have this lovely lavender luscious purple and the nice pink highlight undertones I have probably the worst lighting in the world but you can still tell how purple it is through and through I recommend the overtone over the viral of course but they're both really good you cannot go wrong with either one of them the, they're both about like 30 or 40 dollars I believe and they make my my hair feels really good and healthy still nothing wrong with these in my opinion as far as hair health and if you have light colored hair already I recommend the pastel tones they have and if you have dark hair they do make the purple for brown blue for brown hair and stuff like that but I don't know how those work out so good luck to you if you're going to attempt that I'm sure you will do an amazing job because if I can do this anyone can 1 million percent do this if you know me at all my usual content is gaming related I'm a commentator speedrunner and you know I just like playing random games on my stream scary ones puzzlers whatever but today we are doing makeup and hair because I actually want to include my feminine audience okay not everybody just wants to watch video games some people enjoy makeup and hair and I, you know personally growing up I hated anything girly or feminine in any way but now I am giving in to my more feminine side and enjoying makeup and hairstyles and I wanted to help out anybody who is trapped in quarantine right now and cannot change their hair or doesn't have any idea how to do super basic makeup because I can only do super basic stuff. So if you want to learn from me, I don't know why you're doing that, but feel free. Okay. All right, so we'll pretend like I just finished. Oh, I just styled my hair. Here's the here's the finished color. And as you can see, I'm live right now. There's my child on the side of the screen just rambling along. Oh wait, they're on the side. Rambling along and I am live every single day, definitely every day. Don't let my chat tell you anything different. So make sure you go follow my Twitch channel right now and you guys can catch me there. And I'm also on Twitter and Instagram stuff. So everything that I'm on, I'm at the same name, Senpai. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. All right, how was that? How was that? Did I sound like a fucking YouTuber or what? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I sounded like a YouTuber. <laughs> She's lying, Major Cap. I'm so happy to catch the Daily Stream. <laughs> she lies.